Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So a few days ago, I had noticed that my batteries were overcharging. Um, I have my Nissan Leaf, which is supposed to be maximum 57.6. I was getting to 59 and change, which is not good for these batteries. And as you can see, my BMS is disconnected, so it didn't stop. It didn't stop it. It exceeded um, the numbers I had set for it. So I was wondering what had happened because my charge controller. Um, let me go in and see if I can show you the settings. So let's go in. Bear with me real quick. Um, battery menu. Battery voltage 48. Um, custom battery menu. As you can see, equalizer support is off. My bulk voltage is 57.4, but I was seeing 59 and change. My absorb voltage is 57.4. My float is 57. So you're wondering how come I was seeing 59 volts, even though the settings were and what they are. So guess what I did? Of course, I panicked. I turned my PV off and um, I turned everything off. I pulled the breakers off, started the control again. And then the next day, I did the same thing. And then I started going to look into my settings to find out what I had done wrong. And there is a setting in this thing. Let me see if I can show it to you. So let's go into the menu again. Uh, no, wrong button. No, wrong button, sorry. Um, okay, battery menu. And it's this setting here the drift battery temperature. I had set it to cold. So let me see if I can change it and show you what I mean. I set it to cold. And if you look at one of the videos I had done before, um, when I removed the BTS, I don't have the BTS connected this time, and put it into the fridge, it increased not only the voltage, but it also increased the charge current. So when the battery is seeing so it still believes that it's a lead acid battery and the battery is cold, so it increases the voltage to compensate for temperature. So that's exactly what was happening. The battery was charging at a the battery was charging at a higher voltage to compensate for low temperature because it believed that the room and the batteries were cold. So that was very simple explanation. I could have burned down my house over a simple a setting as simple as that. Um, the BMS is going to come back on. We are buying a new one because we had a conflict between our um, battery monitor and the BMS and one would work, the other wouldn't work. So we would get that resolved. One thing I need help on is my BMV never resets to zero. Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Never resets to zero. I'm going to correct this too. Okay. So my batteries will charge and they will come back. The lowest I've seen is minus 15, minus, sorry, minus 12 even though all the voltage parameters I set on it have you know all the voltage parameters I set have been met so if you know what I can do to correct that where once the battery is fully charged my battery monitor resets to zero please post it below let me see yeah post it below let me see you see my thumb yeah, post it below so that I know um, I can correct it and get correct readings from it so once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos. If you've yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, do give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.